Hey, it's Nadine here. And uh, yeah, my weekly YouTube video about where I tune in about energies, you know, what's going on and, and how we can best deal with that. And I really feel that it's starting to get momentum, you know, to, to have that weekly practice to tune in, in into um, your heart and feel of about instead of in, into your mind more than ever because when we go these days and sit in our brain in our mind we can go and make you crazy there's so much uncertainty there is like oh is this going to happen i could go that way and, and the polarity like it's it's there at the same time just as as present and you don't know whether it's going to be red or black if you'll be playing roulette, you know, it's gonna, let's say, you only put a bit on color. I don't even know whether you can do that, but I'm a gambler. Um, then you would go, like, well, what's it gonna be? Um, you might think in your life, we've had all this 2020 time to go deep and feel what is important to you what really matters um, not what you think that should matter again not thinking but how do you feel in your body in your heart when you do certain things and how do you feel different when you don't do it and when you go another way so we had that and, and i could feel november really being great and coming with some answers I'm going, this is for me going to be the way forward. This is really what matters for me. And this is where I'm gonna, gonna put emphasis. And for many, many of us, we realize the emphasis is to not live from our logical mind alone. Not live from, I need to figure this out mentally. No, your, your biggest problem, my biggest problem, we all have the same biggest problem is that we are disconnected from the part of us that knows. I call it sometimes source energy, um, you know, a higher self, or you, you can call it whatever you want. Some people call it God, some people call it Yahweh, Allah, whatever you call it. Um, it's, it doesn't matter to me what you name it, but we all know that thing that is not a thing. <laughs> The, the connection that you have felt at certain times in your life and you knew this is what I need to feel right now. This is the connection I need to feel. And this is where my creative ideas come from. This is how I create my reality. This is how I do my transformation. It all comes from that same point. My post is for that background noise. My computer keeps overheating. I have a brand new battery in it, but the, um, it's the ventilator we can hear. So, um, you see, I had to go and logically explain. In this, I use my logical mind for lots of things, you know, when I do my reconciliation in zero or software, you know, book, whatever it is. It's not that it's a wrong thing. But the main problems in your life are created because you use that mind for something it cannot be used. It's, it's horses for horses. You, you have to start to become aware when to use which mind, when to use your logical mind, and when to use your higher self, your, your part of the connection that brings answers in a more subtle way. And it's like a muscle that you train. You might, if you've been following it for a while, you know, I call myself like a spiritual trainer for a spiritual muscle. Um, and I think right now, it's good for you to tune into that, to tune in and say, what would be the highest positive outcome for, not just for me, but everybody around me, what is our way forward in the highest positive way? Um, and then you know that, that you can kind of feel it, you can 
you feel like everybody settling down, everybody trying to move away from polarization and come up with new solutions. The, the old ways are no longer working. We do need new solutions in, in our bigger scale and small scale everywhere. And I think they are on the way. I'm very curious to see what's going to happen on the 11th of November. People speculating about the portal, 11 11. Um, yeah, I feel again the new energies coming in, new things, things we have never seen before, never heard before. And they will guide you, they, they will bring you the, the, the clarity what is your way forward, and how can you keep your vibrational level high? Because if you if you let yourself pull down by all the stress that surrounds you, by all this like, oh my God, not again, not this, not that, then that is what you're going to get. Um, because it's what you focus on and what you focus on for your It's so typical. So I want you to focus on your heart. And no matter what you feel there, make space for love to come in as well and love whatever it is that your emotion is and that could be fear you go like okay i'm very fearful because of whatever reason it doesn't matter fear is fear do not run away from it feel it and say and can i now feel love in that same space where i feel my fear inside me my, my uncertainty i feel uncertainty okay can i add love to that feeling and um I think you are on a great way. Once you surrender like that, once you go like, okay, it's not about my will that needs to be done. It's about the bigger purpose. It's about something bigger happening here and I can surrender to that. I can let this happen and believe that there is a great outcome to this or that this difficult time of change that we're going through is gonna come out better, stronger. Um, more on purpose, more aligned, you know, really like this is my way forward and feeling it. Okay, that's it for this week. I wish you an amazing week. If you ever want to have a, a chat with me, um, make sure you get onto my email list because there's um, often options there. If you just book a quick chat with me, a 10 minute chat. Go into my email list, you can go to my website, nadinealan.com, and it says subscribe, and you get free chapters of my book. Um, you can then weekly, you get this email, put the video into your mailbox, or if there's anything else that I want to communicate, that comes through as well. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button or the thumbs up, and you can keep this channel going. Thank you. Bye for now and talk soon.